the next step, the next thing we need to tackle now is we need to do collision detection and checking for collisions between the bullets and the asteroids and the asteroids and the player character. Most of that I think we're going to handle in the main game loop itself with one little block of code which is about 30 lines long, it's not too bad. All right. So here we have, the in, while we're in the asteroid object for loop, we're gonna go for index and bullet. We enumerate player bullets. Okay. If bullet dot bullet wrecked dot collide wrecked asteroid object dot image wrecked. So that we're doing a collision detection between the bullet bullet rectangle and the asteroid rectangle. And if there's a collision Asteroid object dot health minus equals one. Okay, remember we gave each asteroid uh, health of three or two or one depending on its size. So that we will deduct. So if the, if the bullet connects with the asteroid, the asteroid loses one one health. Right. Next thing we need to do is we need to. Okay, we need to see of added score. Let's go ahead and do that now while we're doing this block of code. Let's go and do it now. We need to go to our game settings. Sorry, jumping around here a bit, but if we do it now, it'll save time and we don't have to worry about doing it later and then coming back and doing it. Uh, stage, the clock stage, we've got stage, then we've got lives. Which will be player lives, which is three, a game over state, which is equal to false, and a score, which is equal to zero, and top score, which is equal to well, nothing at the moment. So we'll just call it none. All right, now we've got the score. So let's go back down to the bottom. Remember in our asteroid class, we also had score that was created. Uh, let's open asteroid class self.score. There we go, see? So since we've already got that there, we've got the functionality, we might as well go ahead and include it while we're doing our collision detections. So score will then be plus equals asteroid object dot score. Yeah. Then if the asteroid object dot health is equal to zero, which means that it's dead. And if the asteroid object dot size is equal to large, because it was the large size, it needs to split into two medium sized asteroids, then the asteroid objects dot append, um, we're going to create an asteroid. It's going to be a medium size now, and we're going to create it. It needs to be created at that particular asteroid object dot pause, and that asteroid object dot image set. And because we want it to be two, all right. Then we can take this whole block here. And we paste it just right below it. So we say LF asteroid object of size was actually medium. Then it's going to create two smaller ones. Two small op asteroids, right? Else it was already a small asteroid. Many cells. It was already a small asteroid. 
So if the asteroid dot health is equal to zero, if it's large, then it creates two smaller ones. If it's medium, it creates two, two mediums. If it's medium, it creates two small ones. So if it's not large, if it's not medium, then it just goes ahead and deletes asteroid object, objects index. Okay. And you can also go ahead and delete player bullets index. So it also deletes that player bullet, deletes the bullet from the list, and you can break out the cycle then, break out the for loop. So that's now clearing detection between the asteroid and the bullets. Let's go ahead and test that quickly. So there's the asteroid, if we shoot a bullet, it's one, two, three. So it's fast. That one was very fast. Seems to be working. Look at that. Oh, there's two asteroids now. Oh my goodness. Where are we? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, now obviously we're not doing any collision detection between the spaceship and the asteroids, but we'll get there. As you can see, we're getting various types of asteroids, various different colors. It's all working quite well. Fantastic. Okay, the next slide. The next check we need to do with the asteroids while we're going through the asteroids themselves is we will do a check against the player character. So if asteroid object dot image rect dot collide rect with the player dot image rect. Firstly, so if the asteroid collides with the player, well, it's not a non capital R. It's not a capital R. So if the player collides with the asteroid, or if the asteroid collides with the player, we're going to lose a life. And then if lives is less than or equal to zero, just to be safe, for whatever reason it goes below zero, we're going to say, Game over is equal to true. Okay. It's true. Basically, the score will be zero. Else, reset after losing a functions. We need to go create that function. We're going to delete the asteroid objects in the ID and break. 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 Okay, so we need to create the reset after losing a laugh utility function. Reset after losing a life utility. Reset. Reset after losing a life. Reset after losing a life. And then generate asteroids. Reset after losing a life. Okay. And the versus reset. Set the player character to the middle of the screen. Move the asteroids to new locations. Okay. And then clear the screen of 
agnostic. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to go player dot pose is equal to screen width divided by two, screen height divided by two, floor by two. Then player dot direction will be equal to vector vector two zero minus one. Base north player dot velocity will be equal to vector two and uh, player dot no player bullets list dot clear if not game over so if the game's not if not game over okay Let's just deal with this game over function quickly because we've got it inside here and we need to actually go through with it. So under my game settings variables, game settings variables, game settings variables, which is over here, we've included our game over. Okay. Game over is currently set to false. But then if we hit and lose all three lives, our game over then becomes true. If game over, if so, and that means under this function, if not game over, then that means for index asteroid objects, object in enumerate asteroid objects, Right. Asteroid object dot pose will be equal to generate random location. And then we want it to wait sometimes. So we can go pygame dot time dot wait. Oh, no. Five seconds. Else asteroid objects dot clear so if it is game over you just clear the list of asteroids okay that's the reset after losing a life function reset after losing a life function in my game window updating we're going to also handle the game over variable so if not game over okay then you want these four loops to run and the player dot draw but all of that to be drawn to the screen all right and then, down, and then so that's the first section of the, the game and game over handling in my main game loop we're also going to handle the if not game over section over here we're going to include if not game over. So if if game over is still set to false, then we want all of this to actually take place. So we just have to shift it over one block. <laughs> oh, my shoulders. So that's basically all of my object movement and collision detection must all occur if the game is still set to not not game over. Okay, have we broken anything? Let's run it. Let's see where we are. Sure, look at that one go. Oh, that was weird. Oh, of course it has health. <laughs> I forgot that it had health. That's silly me. And there's the collision. Game freezes for five seconds. And we reset new positions. And we're on the go again. And we shoot rocks, we shoot the asteroid, we shoot everything we can. And 
just want to clear the stage again quickly. I just want to hit this. It's crashed three times. There's life number two gone. Then life number three, and everything's taken off the screen. Now we don't know what's happened, but that's what we want the screen to be cleared. Okay. That all seems to be working. Next thing we need to do, so we've got game working, we've got the asteroids, we've got the ship moving around, the asteroids, the collision detection is there, the game over there is there. Uh, once we've hit the game over, we want to be able to reset the game. Now in order to be able to do that, we need to come down here to our event handling loop, and over here under event.key, we're going to say if game over is equal to true, then if event.key is equal to pygame.key tab, we're going to reset after losing a life. Stage is going to go back to equal one, and lives is going to go back to equal three. So we're going to call generate asteroids, and game over will be to false. Okay, so that's once you hit the game over section of the game, okay, there's the first laugh. Second laugh. And then the third laugh. Everything disappears. In space, nothing happens, but if we hit the tab, the game starts all over again. There's our spaceship, there's our asteroid, and everything's working again. There's the splits. Right, fantastic, that seems to be working.